Mechanical systems involve measurements of time in seconds, mass in kilograms, and length in meters, so this is often said to be the MKS, or SI, system of units. The abbreviation SI stands for the Global System International Units. There are many traditional units that are never used in physics and engineering. Throughout this year-long course, every length must be converted to meters. For example, you must convert kilometers, abbreviated KM, to meters, abbreviated as M. Convert centimeters, CM, into meters and miles into meters. You must convert all durations into seconds. Convert minutes, hours, and years to seconds, abbreviated S. The kilogram, abbreviated KG, is a unit of mass. The weight of one kilogram is 2.2 pounds. You can add two quantities only if their units match. For example, you never add a length L in centimeters to a length H in meters until after you have converted length L into meters. In converting units, we multiply and divide them just as we would do any other algebraic quantity. We will use the following conversion factors throughout the course. We'll see that we divide kilometers per hour by 3.6 to get meters per second. In this value, one kilometer per hour, we want first to switch the hour to minute. I put the hour in the numerator to cancel this one in the denominator. It's one hour per 60 minutes. Next, to convert minutes to seconds, here we put minutes on the top to cancel minutes on the bottom. Next, we convert kilometers into a thousand meters. We put kilometer on the bottom here to cancel kilometer on the top there. We have 1,000 divided by 60 times 60 makes 3,600. 1,000 over 3,600 is the same thing as 1 over 3.6. This means that we divide kilometers per hour by 3.6 to convert to meters per second. For example, 64 kilometers per hour is 64 over 3.6 makes 17.8 meters per second. Throughout the course, we typically quote final results to two significant figures, but we use three significant figures while doing calculations in the intermediate steps. Sometimes we will need five significant figures. Velocities must be written in meters per second. The U.S. is the only country using miles per hour. After solving a homework problem involving velocity in meters per second, we want to mentally picture that velocity in miles per hour to decide if it is a reasonable number. To do this, we multiply meters per second by 2.25 to get miles per hour. We have 1 meter per second times 1 mile per 1600 meters times 3600 seconds per hour makes 3600 over 1600 miles per hour or 2.25 miles per hour. For example, 20 meters per second is 2.25 times 20 equals 45 miles per hour. How many seconds are in one year? The mnemonic is that there are about pi times 10 to the 7 seconds per year. This one year is multiplied by 365 days per year, 24 hours per day, 60 minutes per hour, 60 seconds per minute, and after canceling, we get 3.15 times 10 to the 7th seconds, which is about pi times 10 to the 7th seconds. How many seconds have you been alive? 93.5 years times pi times 10 to the 7th seconds per year equals 2.9 times 10 to the 9th seconds. When an equation contains a length squared, then we square the conversion factor. For example, when it rains 4 centimeters equals 0.04 meters throughout 1 square kilometer, what is the mass of the rainwater? The mass density of water is defined to be 1,000 kilograms per cubic meter. By the way, 1 cubic meter of water would fill a refrigerator and weigh 2,000 pounds. 
the volume V of that water is its area A multiplied by its depth D. The amount of rainwater is mass M equals mass density times volume, but the volume is the area times the depth. So we have density, 1,000 kilograms per cubic meter, times area, one square kilometer, times the conversion factor, 1,000 meters per kilometer, which we have to square because we had kilometers squared here, times depth, D equals 0.04 meters, equals 4 times 10 to the 7 kilograms, which is the weight of about 1 million persons.